Finally, I just I wanted to show you a bit more of formalization. This is not something that I'm going to be um, grading you on, but it's just a complement that kind of follows what we've been studying, these inductive definitions. And in the book, they don't use inductive definitions for um, defining acceptance. So I just wanted to introduce this in this class uh, so that you're a bit more familiar with different possibilities of formalizing PDA acceptance. So first, we need to formalize stack operations, and we can do it in branches, which says, um, if I have a stack and I do an epsilon, so I do this arrow to mean pop, and I do this arrow to mean push, so I'm, I'm removing the element, and I'm adding an element, right? So if I have, so S would be a list where you're adding something to the left. If I do the triangle and I have a skip, you don't do anything, so you return the stack as is. You could also define the pop operation with, if you have n, and you're popping n, so this n must be the same, uh, then you can safely remove it, which means the pop operation is undefined when um, these two elements are different or when the stack is empty. Um, so let's see a few examples. If I have 0, 1 and I pop epsilon, that means I would get 0, 1. If I pop the dollar sign, the dollar sign is not on top, so I, that would be undefined. If I pop 0, I would just get 1. Um, if I pop 1, it would also be undefined because 0 is on top. Similarly, if the stack is empty and you try to pop something, it is also undefined. Uh, pushing always works. If the stack is S and you 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 push epsilon you leave it as is but if you push a number you add it to the left and that's it so if you have zero one and you you push epsilon you get zero one if you push push dollar sign it shows up um it should show up on the left um yeah it should show this is the bug i'll fix it when i upload it uh, if you push zero, it should show up on the left. If you push one, it should show up on the left. So that's how it should work. Um, so now I just gave you a few examples, see if they're all correct. Um, I invite you to pause the, the slides and try to do it yourself. So if you do a pop and you have A and B, you should get, if you're popping C, you get undefined. If you're pushing C, you get C, A, B. If you pop A, you get just B. If you push A, you get A, A, B. If you pop dollar sign, is not there, so you get undefined. If you push dollar sign, again, this is incorrect. Dollar sign should be here. If you have empty and you, you pop, you get undefined. If you push, you just get the dollar sign. Um, if you have empty and you pop something, it's undefined. So you know how a stack works. Uh, this is basically specifying that. Finally, I can specify a transition. And this is my input state. And this is my output state. This is the input stack. And this is the output stack. So what do I do? I, given the state, the input character and the input uh, operation, stack operation, I call delta and I pass these three there. What I get is a set. So I need to check if there's at least one Q prime and new stack operation, which is the pop, um, the pop operation. What do I do? I apply my new stack. I need to compute it. I have my uh, uh, next state right q prime in my new stack i first do a pop with o if i can so again this if this fails then this whole thing fails uh, and wouldn't work uh, so i would be able to pop and then i push a no prime which is obtained from the delta so next what i can basically a steps through which is a way to get a derivation it kind of represents the graph what you would do is Basically, you check if you can reach from Q to the, um, let's say, Q, S, and I want to consume Y. I, if I can do that in a step using this rule above, so 
if I can read y with some stack operation and I can reach a following q prime and if from that q prime I can re I can consume the rest of my string then eventually I'm able to reach um, I can reach the final um, the base case which is my string is empty and somehow my stack um, is empty my stack my uh, set state is final so that would be the base case and this is inductive you could probably define this with an inductive proposition so an ex acceptance would be something like this uh, and that would represent just one path like this. 